We will discuss today about the arterial supply to the thorax. The thoracic wall is supplied by branches of the subclavian artery, the axillary artery, and the aorta. We will start with the branches from the aorta, more precisely the descending thoracic aorta. Directly from the descending thoracic aorta are arising the posterior intercostal arteries from the one numbered 3 to the one numbered 12. Now we will discuss about the sources from the subclavian arteries. First to be put down is the costal cervical trunk, which is arising from the subclavian artery. The costal cervical trunk gives off two branches, one of them is the supreme intercostal artery. The supreme intercostal artery gives off the first two posterior intercostal arteries. The internal thoracic artery, previously called the internal mammary artery, arises from the first part of the subclavian artery. It enters the thorax behind the sternoclavicular joint. It then descends posterior to the upper six costal cartilages, immediately lateral to the sternum. At the sixth intercostal space, it divides into the superior epigastric and musculophrenic arteries. Directly from the internal thoracic artery are rising the upper six anterior intercostal arteries, which will anastomose along the intercostal spaces with the upper six posterior intercostal arteries. Sometimes the anterior intercostal arteries arising directly from the internal thoracic artery can be duplicated. The anterior intercostal arteries, those numbered 7, 8, and 9, are arising from the musculophrenic artery. Another branch from the subclavian artery, which participate in supplying the thoracic wall, is the dorsal scapular artery. This artery usually arises from the subclavian artery, from the third part of the subclavian artery, and will supply the rhomboids, levator scapulae, and the trapezius muscles. Sometimes the dorsal scapular artery can arise from the transverse cervical artery. As you know, the transverse cervical artery is a branch of the tyrocervical trunk. Lastly, we will indicate the branches from the axillary artery. Those branches will supply mostly the lateral part of the thoracic wall. The supreme thoracic artery, or the superior thoracic artery, it supplies branches to the first and second intercostal spaces as well as to the superior portion of serratus anterior. The lateral thoracic artery, or the external mammary artery, is a blood vessel that supplies the lateral structures of the thorax and breast. It supplies the serratus anterior muscle and the pectoralis major. In the females, it is more voluminous and gives off the external mammary branches, which turns round the free edge of the pectoralis major and supplies the breast. Lastly to be discussed is the subscapular artery. The subscapular artery arises from the third part of the axillary artery, and after it gives off the circumflex scapular artery, it becomes continuous with the thoracodorsal artery. This artery mainly supplies the latissimus dorsi muscle. That's all for today. I hope this video was helpful for you. See you next time. Bye.